Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holdner and welcome to Speed Secrets. This episode is brought to you by the guys at Comp Cams. And it's all about one of our favorite race fuels, E85. Now if you're not familiar with E85, basically it's a blend. 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline, though that ratio can actually vary. Now there are a lot of things we like about E85. First of all, it's high octane. As high as 112 octane, meaning it performs a lot like race fuel. The next thing is, since it's alcohol based, it actually helps lower the charge temperature, which can improve power even more. We also like the fact that it's available directly through a lot of gas stations right at the pump, and it's less expensive than gas, and a lot less expensive than race fuel. So let's recap, E85, high octane, lower charge temperatures, and it costs less. I mean, what could be better? To find out how well E85 works, we set up a test. To illustrate the power gains offered by E85, we set up the following test motor. We took a 6 liter LS and equipped it with a healthy comp cam, fast injectors, and an XFI management system. Now we ran that 6 liter both naturally aspirated and turbocharged. On the naturally aspirated combination, we compared 91 octane pump gas to E85. On the turbo motor, we compared 114 octane race gas to the E85. Now both combinations were tuned to maximize the power output. Now what do we mean by that? Well, any change in power was just from the fuel, not from additional tuning. So how much power did the E85 make? Let's find out. With a healthy comp cam, fast XFI ECU, and fast coil packs. First we ran NA with both fuels. Not much difference on the NA motor. Then we added the turbo. The system included an intercooler. First up, 114. Check out the specs. Then E85. Check out those specs. On the dyno with both fuels. Big gains from the E85. Okay guys, the results are in. And as you can see, there's a big difference in power between our two combinations. Run on the naturally aspirated six liter, there was very little gain, and we even tried a few extra degrees of timing. But on the turbo motor, big gains. I mean, 45 to 50 extra horsepower. So it just goes to show you, E85 offers some big power gains on the right combination. I'm Richard Holder, that's all the time I have. I wanna thank the guys at Comp Cams. Join me next time on Speed Secrets.